These are facts about whiplash or injuries from low speed collision. This is brought to you by Burke and Eisner. In the United States, every year, somewhere around 6 million people are involved in low speed collisions. A low speed collision is generally a collision that is under 12 miles an hour. Now, from those low speed collisions, from those 6 million people, approximately half or 3 million of them will have some sort of an injury. And of those three million, one and a half million will have some sort of chronic pain. And of those one and a half million, about 300,000 will have some level of chronic pain and some level of disability. In addition to that, about 9% of all Americans are su suffer from some sort of chronic pain due to low speed rear impact crashes. And one of the, the interesting things and sometimes surprising is that most of these injuries cannot be diagnosed by looking at an x-ray. An x-ray will show you cracks in a bone, but it will not show you stretches in ligaments, tears in the muscle, and that's where a lot of the injuries that we see in these low speed crashes, that's the category that they fit into. So the low speed neck injury, it's also been called whiplash over the years, and basically it's when the head snaps back or forth on the neck and that's called a hyperextension or a hyperflexion injury. And again, that's a stretching or tearing of, of ligaments and muscles. If you look at this image that you see here, you see the red area of the neck, and that's where you see uh, most of the pain that occurs and most of the injury. These low speed neck injury symptoms that occur are not just pain. You'll see numbness, you'll be tired, there'll be anxiety sometimes. You have to remember there's a whole bundle of nerves, your entire spine, runs through that cervical area of, of the body, the neck. And so it's not surprising that you'll have a, a variety of symptoms. You won't see them all. You may see none. You may see all. You may see just some. Some others, irritability, dizziness, weakness. You might even see some numbness, as I mentioned on the previous slide. And the most often, the most common, excuse me, thing that we see in addition to pain is some sort of restricted motion where it's, you just can't get, turn to the left as much as you used to or to the right. So I mentioned this earlier, most of these crashes ca are caused at below 12 miles an hour. And most of these cases, if you look at the third item on this slide, show no damage to the car. And that's because of how cars are built now. They're built to withstand impacts between 8 and 12 miles an hour. The bumper absorbs the impact and then launches the car forward, causing little or no damage but that launching forward of the car causes the head to snap backwards and on, on top of the spine and it sort of snaps back and forth and that sudden snapping is what causes the injury to the ligaments and muscles of the neck. So these injuries are real. We've seen them many, many times. The, the disruption to your life is real. Often you can't work if you have a, a manual job or even if you're looking at a computer for the day and typing or doing data entry, whatever it may be, you're having difficulty holding your neck in a, in a particular way. And the real, um, the real problem is that these cases are hard to prove and they're hard to prove because it's hard to show a picture of the injury like you might see on an x-ray. So what you have to do is really document accurately with your doctors, with your caregivers, the level of pain the level of restriction, the difficulty you have doing particular jobs. It's just a process that you have to stick through and eventually be willing to prove it. And you'll come out the other end um, with, with an adequate uh, settlement often. But you do have to prove it and be able to communicate well with your doctors and lawyers and whatnot. This has been a brief presentation brought to you by Burke and Eisner. If you have any further questions about this, you can reach us at the phone number on your screen or the web address you see there.